Let's turn to our forecast now, Chief Meteorologist Mark Johnson. You've been monitoring the weather conditions, specifically right. the winds, too, the winds. down there in Akron. We've and been the... talking about um, the chemicals, possibly, you know, what they are, you know, officials letting us know that, and then also the wind where this may take it. Well, the good news is the winds are relatively light, so we're seeing this smoke plume, at least for the most part, traveling straight up a couple of thousand feet before it begins to spread out. Now, it's very interesting to watch this because the smoke will thin out quite a bit, as Tessa just mentioned, and then you'll get it reacting with another perhaps barrel of chemicals and we'll get this, this new plume of smoke that develops. And our Power 5 radar has picked that up very nicely. And again, you can see the smoke plume right here. It is stuck under a cap. The atmosphere is capped. There's a lid on it. So we're not getting any rising air. So we're seeing that smoke plume at about three to 5,000 feet. And again, there it is on the Power 5, very easily viewable. And one more thing I want to show you, this is a 3D slice of the smoke plume. As it's risen, it's, it's again, right around three to 5,000 feet at its maximum level, and it's traveling to the north. Back to you.